Well, he is a well-known pastor and longtime ally of Mayor Daley, but is he also a slumlord? That's the accusation angry tenants are making against Reverend Leon Fenney Jr. CBS 2's Derek Blakely was there as they took their protest to City Hall. At what point were you just fed up? Oh, the last straw was when my son was laying on the couch, and I went in there to check on him, and it was a mice on the couch with my baby. Latasha Edwards, mother of four, brought her anger to City Hall, joining other tenants demanding that Mayor Daley turn up the heat on her landlord. You guys don't know how hard it is to live like the way that we are living. I have four kids, you know, and I'm up all night long making sure that nothing crawls on my kids. Her landlord is the Reverend Leon Finney, who controls the Woodlawn Community Development Corporation. It's the owner of four federally subsidized Southside buildings around 62nd and Kimbark that tenants call slums. It's serious, they're living in mold. Ceilings are falling down. People have went to the hospital because insufficient heat. The resident here at 6139 Kimbark didn't want to go on camera, but showed us substandard conditions. No worries about getting the carpet dirty. There isn't any. Just a plywood subfloor. And even that's rotting around a leaky radiator. Out of the years, 17, 18 years we've been here, they haven't did any type of repairs. It's just been patchwork. The stove stays on most of the time because the heat isn't on. And down the street, the back stairs are so decrepit, they're declared off limits. They have to enter the front and leave the front. If it's a, a fire, it's a fire hatch. The demonstrators disrupted a Chicago Plan Commission meeting, but Finney, one of the commissioners, wasn't there. We're living like we are, and he's living in luxury. Those four buildings have been controlled by Finney since the 1970s, and all have been cited for a long list of code violations. Reverend Finney wasn't available for comment today, but an aide said as a nonprofit, his agency simply doesn't have the money for repairs. But the buildings are under contract for sale, and Rob, if that deal goes through, renovations by the new owner could begin this summer. So there is some hope for the tenants then? There is some hope from the tenants, and we're also told that uh, this is a Section 8 building, and it will remain a Section 8 building, so uh, displacement should be minimal. Okay. Derek Blakely, live in the newsroom. Thank you.